Now to the historic change in U.S. relations with Cuba, which could someday bring a Cuban consulate to South Florida. And with the mayor of Miami Beach on the record saying that he would welcome Cuban diplomats to his city, people packed City Hall tonight for a meeting and a vote. CBS 4's Hank Hester is there with the results for us. Hank. Well, the latest is the committee, the Hispanic uh, the Hispanic Affairs Committee for the city of Miami Beach unanimously said no way would they recommend to the commission that there would be a consulate here in the city. Let's take a look. Emotions run hot at Miami Beach City Hall. Cuban Americans opposed to any thought of the Cuban government locating a Cuban consulate on the beach. This in response to Miami Beach Mayor Philip Levine's idea of at least talking about the consulate being welcome in his city. Now, Levine seen here meeting up with CBS4's Elliot Rodriguez in Havana during the presidential visit. Now, Levine talked with Cuban officials about the possibility of a consulate, especially since the city of Miami and Miami-Dade County have said, not in my backyard. Beach Commissioner Ricky Arola was on the trip to Havana. He's open to discussion, says there was not a hard sell by the mayor. Nobody invited them to come to Miami Beach. I did not, Mayor Levine did not invite anybody. What we invited was the essence of the American way, which is the idea to talk and engage, okay? Just simply to talk. A good-sized crowd, mostly Cuban exiles from Miami, showed up for the meeting. This is the Miami Beach Hispanic Affairs Committee. They're tasked to give beach commissioners a recommendation on the issue. They heard that Cuban embassies and consulates are centers of espionage activities. This disruptive activity by the Castro regime will pose a threat towards the overall stability of this world-renowned destination. The committee did hear that a consulate would be a service to locals, travelers, and the Cuban community. You should reflect on what a consulate does, customer service whole heck of a lot because it's the State Department, the feds that decide just exactly where these consulates go. The local governments have really nothing to do with it. Reporting, I'm Hank Tester, CBS4 News tonight.